Hello again, this is Stephen Petty. Welcome to our first podcast. And uh, the title of it is really, uh, Who is Stephen Petty? The guy sitting in front of you. thought it might be of value to know a little bit about me before you hear some of the technical podcasts that are to follow. Um, first of all, um, my formal training was uh, in engineering. I have a Bachelor of Science from uh, University of Washington, where I graduated with honors, and then I also have a Master's of Science in Chemical Engineering from the University of Washington, the so-called UW for those that are from the Northwest. I also have an MBA, a Master's in Business Administration from Dayton University, where I finished first in my class for the year, received the uh, Raymond Roche Award uh, of Excellence. As far as uh, formal job uh, work, I uh, spent about 10 years with Patel, uh, starting as a, uh, uh, a junior scientist, uh, ending up as a senior research scientist. Started out working at the Hanford Atomic Works, uh, the Pacific Northwest National Laboratory for Battelle, and ultimately uh, moved to uh, their headquarters in Columbus, Ohio. I spent the next 10 years or so working as a research engineer, senior research engineer, and a section manager for Columbia Gas System, where I did lots of R&D and uh, received uh, nine patents. And then for the last 25 years or so, I've uh, started my own corporation. I'm president of the EES Group. Um, it was founded with operations throughout Ohio and also in Florida. About seven years ago, I sold the Ohio operations. But here's a nice photograph of uh, the building that I still own in Ohio. When I was at uh, EES Group, we did thousands of projects, per particularly in the forensics engineering field. As far as uh, certifications, uh, professional certifications, I'm a uh, registered certified industrial hygienist, or CIH. That's a national certification. I'm also a certified safety professional. That, too, is a national certification, also known as a CSP. And then I'm a professional engineer, as is my corporation, in six states. Uh, you have to be registered by state as a professional engineer. I'm registered in the states of Kentucky, Florida, Ohio, Pennsylvania, Texas, and West Virginia. Um, I should add that I'm registered as a general engineer, um, which means basically I can practice in any of the fields in which I feel competent, and I've practiced in uh, civil, structural, chemical, uh, and uh, environmental engineering. Um, some of the projects that I've been involved in um, are... Um, I've, I've been selected and disclosed in nearly 400 expert, as an expert witness in nearly 400 cases. I served as the exposure PPE warnings expert uh, for the Monsanto Roundup cases, at least over 30 of them so far. I served in that same role on the DuPont C8 cases. This is where um, the, the C8 is the material that's uh, used to help make Teflon. And, um, and I've been involved in uh, nearly 400 other cases serving as an exposure expert, uh, which also involves looking at personal protective equipment and warnings. On the forensics investigation side, I've completed over 4,000 investigations and overseen nearly 10,000. Um, some of the more interesting ones were that uh, I was asked to figure out why players were getting sick in their locker room, and so I did uh, industrial hygiene inspections to determine the exposures and what could be done to stop uh, the players from getting sick. I was also asked to look at uh, Iraqi documents because workers were complaining of sickness, so I looked at anthrax, biotoxins, mold, bacteria, etc. Um, and I've also done dozens and dozens of other pro projects looking at things like biologics, legionella, mold, uh, organic compounds, etc. And then, last but not least, I've been involved in risk assessments, which is uh, 
and helped write the state of Ohio rules on risk assessment in the late 90s on contamination of um, soils and groundwaters uh, with petroleum compounds. And last but not least, I've written the, the, um, one of the seminal books for the insurance industry on how to complete forensic uh, uh, engineering investigations. It's a nearly 900-page textbook, first written in 2013, and proud to announce that uh, the second edition has been written. It's in final proof and should be issuing in early 2022. I've also served as an adjunct professor at Franklin University where I taught environmental and, and earth science classes. Um, last but not least, um, there was a time in a previous life where I was an inventor and uh, I have nine uh, U.S. patents. Uh, most of them are related to heating, ventilation, and air conditioning systems. And there's a picture of the nine patents. Finally, I'm a member of uh, the American Industrial Hygiene Association, so-called AIHA. I'm a member of the American Board of Industrial Hygiene, uh, also a member of the American Conference of Governmental Industrial Hygienists, ACGIH is the acronym, a 40-year member of the American Institute of Chemical Engineers, a 40-year member of the American Society of uh, Refrigeration, Air Conditioning, and Refrigeration Engineers, so-called ASHRAE, and I'm involved in creating standards and on committees. Um, at that organization. And I've been a member of the American Industrial Air Quality Council as well as Sigma Chi. Um, so that's a little bit about me, probably um, uh, a little longer than you'd like to hear, but at least you know something about me uh, when you've been around as long as I have, upwards of 42 years working. Uh, you've, you've had a few lives in the technical community. If you have any questions about me or any questions about this podcast, by all means, write. Glad to have you on board. Hope to see you again soon.